Welcome back to Channel 37. Today we're here to talk to you about a very exciting module, which is Twigs, which is a dual clone of Mutable Instruments branches. We were gifted this lovely instrument by Philip Wise at Pusherman. He sells us both as a PCB and a full kit. We were gifted the latter. We didn't bring it today because we've already built it, but we're going to show you how we did it and how you can do it as well. Jack Plug's Twig is a dual version of Emilie Gillet's Mutable Instruments branches. The original branches is a dual Bernoulli gate, which basically means that any time a trigger signal comes in, a weighted coin is flipped, and the outcome of that coin flip decides whether the signal is sent to output one or output two. So you had two of those in the original branches. A third party firmware was developed for the branches called Twigs with one eye, and Twigs introduced a voltage controlled clock multiplier and divider, and a voltage controlled swing. If you order your twigs with two eyes from Pusherman, it will come pre-installed with the alternate twigs firmware on the left side and the original branches on the right side. All four of the inputs of this module are normal together, just through the extra pin on the jack sockets, which means that you could just patch a single trigger signal into the first input and then play with that signal on all four of the channels of the module multiplying, dividing, introducing swing, or using the Bernoulli gates. Before getting into the build, we're going to review this module ballroom style. So let's start with the face. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Compared to the original mutable instruments branches, the potentiometers have been replaced with slide pots with a little LED. So this looks good and it's also cool in a performance environment because yeah. the slide pots are very easy to manipulate. Yeah, it measures high and like finger satisfaction. I really like that, it's very fun. And I like the black faceplate compared to the original silver one. Next category is groove. Does it groove? Yeah, I mean, it literally swings, so I'd say that it creates an incredible groove. It's really fun. Yeah, rhythmically, the possibilities, I'm into it. The final category is noob. How easy is it to build? It's extremely easy. It's incredibly beginner friendly basically all of the smd has been pre-soldered so what remains is just through hole and what components are those what remains is just to slap some slide potentiometers jack sockets and power header onto it mm -hmm. so make yourself a cup of coffee or a beer depending on the time of day and you can do it in 20 minutes it's great fun you'll have a really useful module out of it so just have some fun with it and happy music making Big thanks to Philip Wise for your continued support of our channel, and let's take it to the build. This is what you find in the kit. An envelope of parts, pusherman blank, power cable, and a tiny envelope of Eurorack screws. Pre-soldered PCB and front panel. Start by placing four switches. Then place four slide potentiometers. Ours was busted, but the LEDs are easy to replace. Then, 16 jack sockets. Now, snap the switch caps into place. Place the front panel and screw on two nuts to keep all parts in place. Solder each pin by heating both the pad and the pin simultaneously, then feeding solder to the joint, not to the iron. Work quickly, but keep heating the pin until you see the tin flow into the hole. Repeat this for all joints. Then place the two nylon spacers and screw them from below. Then screw them from above. I use countersunk screws. Now place all jack nuts. That's your twigs done.